here in the uh, New Mexico, the Albuquerque, New Mexico area. Actually, I'm just east of Albuquerque. Uh, it's about 65 degrees right now this, this afternoon. It is uh, uh, Friday, October 29th. Um, pristine blue skies as usual and uh, beautiful uh, back roads uh, out where I live. So I uh, thought I would just uh, take the Harley out for a little bit, see how it ran. So far, so good. Sounds great. Uh, and uh, well, looking at my odometer, I am just about ready to turn 40,000 miles on this bike. So, woohoo. That was about uh, about 36,000 miles um, this past December. I uh, had the uh, cam chest rebuilt, used fueling components with uh, S and S 510 cams, uh, good performance cams. I pick up a lot of um, a lot of good speed at around 3,000 RPMs, especially on the freeways. It's really nice, able to just uh, clip along, do some cruising. And uh, it'll run that way all day long, so it's uh, really, a, really a nice upgrade. And there, we just flipped a 40,000 miles. See if you guys can see that. Hmm. Not a lot of miles, really, for this uh, this bike. It's an O2 Electric Glide FLHT. It's a standard, but. Uh, yeah, since I've had it, it's it's hardly a standard anymore. I went ahead and put the air gauge on. I put the oil pressure gauge on, um, which on the standard in those days it didn't come come with those gauges. Of course, the standard doesn't have the stereo. I added the Sony uh, head unit to it uh, a year or so ago. Um, rarely use it, and uh, when I do listen to music, oftentimes it's my Bluetooth uh, through my helmet. I wear a Shoei uh, RF 1400. I just got this helmet uh, a month or two ago. Love, love, love this helmet. Um, can't believe how the airflow uh, works so well in this helmet. And um, as my first two videos posted on YouTube show, I am very new to the GoPro world. So just, I bought one. I wanted to just kind of play around with it and uh, document some of my trips. I've struggled getting used to it. Um, you know, I tried it last weekend. Uh, came back home to look at the videos to, to do some editing on them, and uh, found out that I had uh, 30 seconds of video recorded. You know, so such is life. Not sure if you guys can hear the lope going on with this bike, but that's with the new uh, fueling cam chest uh, rebuild in the SNS 510 cams. Uh, it's got that beautiful Harley sound to it. I do use uh, Shark, Shark Road slip ons. Um, yeah, and it's uh, they sound great. One thing about this bike too, uh, it's a carbureted bike, not fuel injected. Uh, when I actually bought this bike, I really wanted a carbureted one. Uh, my Honda Goldwing, of course, is fuel injected with all the bells and whistles on it, but uh, but the Harley, it's just uh, it's the old war horse. My wife calls it the bone shaker, because that's uh, exactly what it is. And I love every bit of it. I think we'll go up to Cedar Crest, New Mexico, which is just right around the corner here. It goes up through the Sandia Mountains. And uh, then we'll cut across on Frost Road and come back around for a test ride. 
traffic today for a Friday afternoon. It's about, uh, oh, I don't know, two o'clock or so. Of course, here on this road, right in this section, you gotta watch out for the Sheriff's Department. Uh, they get a lot of people flying through here. So, definitely wanna do your speed limit here. And I say that as I'm going over the speed limit. a few suggestions from you guys about um, my first video on the Harley uh, to lift my camera up a little bit so I made some adjustments so we'll see how those look so thanks to uh, Tech and Moto and Jarhead 6 Rides uh, good suggestions guys appreciate that and Old Man on a Bike up in Canada thank you as well Beautiful fall day. You know, say what you will about New Mexico. There's a lot of uh, negative things about the state. We seem to be um, in last place in all the categories where you want to be in first place. And, of course, we're in first place in all the categories where you want to be in last place. Uh, it's just the nature of the beast living out here. Uh, not very uh, forward-thinking mindset here uh, when it comes to managing the state or anything else. But, but I'll tell you what, you can't beat the scenery here. Uh, the roads are pristine uh, all throughout the states, or the state, I should say. And uh, the food is fabulous here. And the weather. Year-round we do riding here. Uh, we do get snow on occasion. Uh, you know, you know, winter lasts, uh, you know, two, three months at the most, uh, you know, where it'll get cold, we'll get some snow, uh, but for the most part, we're riding year round. Yeah, I'm going a little, a little over the speed limit. It's kind of hard to do 45 here when it's, everybody's clipping along. You know, I love my Honda Goldwing. I love, love, love that bike, but I'll tell you what, I, I will never, ever give up my Harley. That's just something about the Harley. Of course, my friends tell me, oh, are you gonna be on the Cadillac today or the Harley? bikers come up through this road uh, as you proceed north um, you eventually hit the town of Madrid uh, I would say it's probably about 30 miles or so north of here it's exactly halfway between here and Santa Fe New Mexico the state capital um, that's where they film part of Wild Hogs the cafe scene the big biker bar scene uh, was all filmed there so Needless to say, it's a real tourist trap now. Um, but, you know, there's a lot of fun things to do there on the weekends. They, there's a really good uh, place for burgers and food um, called the Mineshaft Tavern. Uh, it used to be uh, in the Old West, a mining town. It's a ghost town. Well, it was a ghost town now. Now it's a tourist hotspot here in the state. But uh, a lot of cafes, uh, shopping, t-shirt shops, things like that. But people come up here, they're drawn to, um, you know, the whole wild hogs thing of jiggy. And I'm going to get over here on the right. Safe. Yeah, I'll tell you, with this new cam upgrade, this bike wants to just fly. I'm no slouch. 
slouch on the throttle either. And shame on me for that. the whole time I guess it turned off the battery was fully charged and uh, like I said I got home sat down to review the different clips to see uh, you know learn how to do some editing things like that and uh, <laughs> there was literally 30 seconds toward the end of my ride I don't know what happened to that so I, I have so much to learn uh, with the GoPro um, thinking about retiring here um, in another six or seven months. Uh, if I decide to do that, then I'm going to... Like I said, a lot of wide open space out here. It's beautiful, beautiful country, in my opinion. Some might argue with the brown. And, uh, you know, sometimes I do too. But I just love to be able to see, you know, 10 miles down the road on a very blue sky and very beautiful temperatures. So here we are rapidly approaching November, 65 degrees or so right now, and I'm just wearing a flannel shirt, like a flannel shirt jack. And of course my full face.
cutting along here. But I'm going to turn right here at the light and head back home. road I got friends that live out on this road and we're off and my niece lives right down that road wildlife here that of course is early in the morning and uh, early in the evening gotta watch out for deer but there are uh, bobcats mountain lions there are uh, bear up in the mountains you won't see them down here although I've had them on, on my property a few times uh, what else do we have of course we have predator birds uh, hawks owls things like that right there see it and there's one right there on the side segment on my editing just to watch that replay ran right across in front of me and one right up on the side and there's some horses and a donkey might take the gold wing out tomorrow um, might do kind of a longer trip depends on how the weather is up north I was thinking about taking it up to Chama New Mexico which is about a three-hour ride right on the Colorado border uh, it's such a nice ride on the bikes up through the mountains Surprise. 